everyone. How are you doing today? I don't know if our camera is working right. What is going on here? Is that our front camera? Yeah, that is our front camera. Has decided to stop working all of a sudden. Let me see if I can fix it for you guys real fast. Hopefully you guys are doing good on this Sunday here. Guess what? We look the same as we did yesterday. Hello. We still look like this. <laughs> this has not changed. I don't know. The front camera has been a little odd lately. But we already have Fatal Paper Cut in channel here. Ordered Secrets of the Lost Tomb on Amazon. Got sent Metal Dawn instead. But it's the deluxe Kickstarter version. I so hope that's good. <laughs> is, that a, is that like a net loss for you then? Or is it like <laughs> technically did you make money off of that? I think I just recently got Secrets of the Lost Tomb. But I got like the space one. Unless I'm just thinking of a different game. I don't know. I don't know what the heck game you're talking about. That giant game we got from Game Boy Geek. Oh. Secrets of the Lost. The Secrets of the Lost. Space Station? I'm going to have to go check that out. I can't remember what it was called it's again. It's really heavy or I'd have my kid come bring it in. But. Hello, Battle Cry. How are you doing? Yeah, sorry about that. Our The front camera, I'm not sure what's going on with it. I might need to get a new battery for it. So, but We might lose it. And if we do, we'll look like this the whole time. Okay, so remember that. <laughs> Put that keep in your, it in your mind, okay? <laughs> keep that mentally in your brain area. Today we're going to be playing Tasty Humans. This is by Pangea Games. It's for one to four players. Should last about 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 to 60 with stream time. Yeah, that's right. And it is a sort of polyomino style game. Yeah, I wanted to say tile placement, but it's not really. Because it's no. all about, like, they cascade down. Yeah, which I really like. And like this was Candy Crush, if you played that app. This was a Kickstarter that we went ahead and backed. And... I thought it was so interesting because it reminded me of almost like an app game where we're going to be eating people. Yeah. And then these sort of cards here that we have, like if I ate this peasant, then I'm going to get these items here in an orientation like this. Or if you flip it, you can like put it in your stomach like that. Or you can put it in your stomach like this. But whatever way it goes down, like it goes down. However you swallow that adventurer. That's right. Actually, I don't think you can do it like that, can you? No, I know you can do no, it. I don't know. I know you can orientate it. <laughs> you just can't reverse it is what it is. You can orientate it whichever way you want. You can't reverse it, though. Okay? Thought so, I knew but until you started talking about These it. items here are going to be going into our bellies here, and then we're going to be getting points based off of how we have things lined up in our stomachs here. So Fatal Paper Cut says, I can't tell if I should keep it. Metal Dawn looks kind of interesting, but I've never heard of it before. <laughs> I opened the box. <laughs> You got too curious and you opened it up. <laughs> so you can rotate it any direction you want. You just can't mirror just it. Just cannot mirror it. Okay, that's what I thought on this. Ooh, way to throw me off. Each thing that's eating, each monster that's eating people... Has their own objective. Has their own special ability, right? I'm a legendary dragon, which Fair. I get plus five points for each two by two square of the same type of body part tile, which we're going to be getting like little masks little hand parts, like little armor pieces. It's hilarious, guys. <laughs> that was my whole thing about this game was like, who doesn't want to be a monster running through and eating stuff? True. And then I get to be the troll. So for me, it's all about getting them in order. So I want to go feet, armor, helmet. That's right. Hands can be wherever. I don't care about hands. I don't even like hands. You I don't just, even, you just spit the hands out. I like out. heads, bodies, right and feet. Out. Yeah, hands are dirty. <laughs> feet are clean. What? Feet, feet are, are not clean. They're in a booty. They're in a little booty. And if this is medieval times, I don't think the feet are that clean. You, you those little know. booties have been on for a while. Think about how dirty their gross. hands would be, though. Well, yeah. I just. I'd rather have I a sweaty know. foot maybe, than dirty maybe hands. Maybe if I can just get like the torso niblets. Do you that'd want be the fine. plague? That's how torso you get the niblets. plague is by eating hands. <laughs> that's on you. Right now, that's how you get the plague. Gee. <laughs> that's always been how you get the plague. Don't eat hands, people. We're going to be drafting our cards out of this pool right here, mm -hmm. which is going to refill, going from the bottom to the top here. But this is the really interesting part. Whichever people we choose, they do do, do they do different things as okay. well whenever we choose Speaking them. Speaking of Mountain Dew. So if we choose this peasant here, we can get attacked by this archer because the archer attacks orthogonally in both directions, two spaces. If we chose the wizard here, we could get attacked by the swordsman, which attacks orthogonally in only one space direction. If we went ahead and tried to eat the captain, other people are going to flee. And this is based off of his flag value. And what else? And like the wizard lets you oh, yeah. swap tiles after you eat them because, you know, he gives you a little bit of stomach rumbling. And then if you get the cleric, you actually can heal the damage because you can take damage, like she just said, 
to know what you think. So like your cleric's like your little potion bottle. It's like your little blended fairy yeah. juice. You just eat the cleric and then whew, yeah, like anytime you I feel have better. Like, allergies or a hangnail <laughs> i just eat a cleric and then i'm good to go you get allergies and then you're like oh i'm looking for a cleric you go raid a little church just come. <laughs> done that's what the troll do and then i think the wizards one is hilarious too because like things just get a little crazy in your tummy you know what's your like, dragon's name um that's a really good question because what my troll is named shrak shrak he's not related to shrak so pith no, he's Shrek. No, I'm Piff then. There you go. I'm, I'd be Piff the Magic Dragon. <laughs> and I'm Shrek. No relation. I guess we'll Piff the Legendary Dragon. <laughs> yeah, you gave yourself that title. It's not It's not important if you give yourself the title. Like me calling myself Doctor. That's just a made up title. It's oh my not, gosh. Oh God, what am I doing with my life? We also have like little things that we're going to drop in our bellies at the end of each round, which are also going to score us extra yeah, points. Yeah, those are the leaders. So you go into the village, you snag up a leader, and you eat them, and they all have different abilities. Like, literally, they all so have good. different abilities. So delicious, see? I mean, if you go in there and you get the king, like... Is it like, I eat the leaders because they're so delicious? Gotta, gotta go, go fishing. fishing. I could go. eat them every day. Because my mom says that's okay. Mom, <laughs> dragon moms must be sweet. Dragon mom. She heard of Tiger King. Now it's the Dragon, dragon Mom. Dragon Mom. That would be an awesome show. I'd I'd watch Dragon Mom. Okay. I'd you know it'd be like the soccer. I think mom. that was called Game of Thrones. <laughs> she like rolled up in her bus with her dragons in the back, all screaming about fruit snacks and <gasps> string cheese. Oh my gosh! And thanks for everybody tuning in to us today. <laughs> Make sure to leave comments in the chat, and we'll we'll talk to you guys. Let us know what you guys think of the game here. So I guess let's get started. Yeah, you go first because whoever ate something human shaped last. And I think oh, you, no, you were no, eating no, gummy no, bears, no. which is oh, pretty close. Oh yeah, that's close enough. Bears that's are close enough. I just like giving my little dragon the crown piece because it looks so cool on him, right? I'll just be taking no, that. No, 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 not okay. yet. Not until the next round. So now I need to draft something from here. This piece here is gonna give me extra stuff for hands, and I need two by two squares that are gonna give me good stuff as well. So I'm looking for either hands. Or something that's going to help me make a two by two square where I'm also. You, gotta, you have to eat your leader tile first. Not going to. I have to eat my leader tile first? Yeah, we eat, then we go after people. All right. Where do I want to put this? So I can put it in here and it's going to go down, down, down like this on wherever I end up putting it. So. That first one always kind of just drops to the bottom. I think in the middle here because it's going to give me stuff all around. So I'll put it there. What do I want to get? So if I take this peasant here, the archer is going to hurt me. I'm going to get hurt if I take any of the wizards because of the swordsman. Wow, there's really just no place to not get hurt at this point. Because. Yeah, I don't see one. To limit it, really, so the best place maybe would be if you near mind, this swordsman. Could you just get wrecked? Or, no, wait, I could do this. No, I'd no, still get hurt archer. one here from the archer. Yeah, yeah I'm going to take gonna the hurt, captain, no I think. What. So when I take the captain, then people are going to flee. Yeah, these two archers run off because they're scared. Get of out of babies. there, archers. And then I'm going to take these token pieces here. Can I get three armors and a... First, take your damage. Where's your oh damage? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Well, give me my tokens. Boop. What do you need? Give me my tokens. I need three armors and a, a helmet. It seems like too many armors. And I'm going to put my damage, like, way over here. Because nobody needs damage in their life. No one needs that business in their life, did you start okay? Did or did I? Hello, oh. Kabuki kid. How are you go. doing? I have two more archers. To replace ah, there's the two so archers many that ran archers off. here. Kabuki, have you played this game before? I'm curious. You are. You know about so many different games and have played so much different stuff. That's You're thinking of metal songs. Kabuki kid is the repository of all metal. Of all metal, metal songs? songs? <laughs> <laughs> all right. I think I'm going to drop this. I'm going to drop it like this, I think. Like it's hot? Yeah. And then for this here, it's just any in any direction, right? Mm -hmm. For that tile, for my hand. So I can still put a hand in there. Well, Somewhere, so for, hopefully. So for that one, it is. Or wait, no, maybe I don't want to do it so that I way. So i got to kind of read up on them. So score two points for each hand tile that is within two spaces. So yeah, as long as it's within, within two, two spaces. spaces. Okay, I'm actually going to turn this around. And we're going to make it drop like. I want to kind of separate these because I need like these to be good. So starting from the top here, it would fall down like this and it's going to land like that. Well, I know which one I need to take. Although that really like I should have put that maybe in the corner, I think. But 
That is mine on this. Hello, I'm the best with metal. Yes, you are, Kabuki Kid. True. <laughs> are you ready for this? All right, Dr. Glory Hog, go ahead. I'm going to eat this swordsman. Okay. Oh, no that's damage. a good call because you wouldn't have taken any damage. I know. That's why I did it. Jeez. Good call. I should have. I should have thought of that. I was not. I was not paying attention enough. Don't blame it on the stream. <laughs> so we're gonna drop our. She we're gonna drop our armor in like this. And there's a reason why I'm doing this way because one, my goal is to go feet, armor, head, so I can still do that. Plus, I'm gonna get points for however how close these are. So I'm gonna go one, two points. One, two points. I'm already going to get at least two points, two points off, of off of that one. That one's as good. As long as they don't drop an armor in there. And that's about the best I can do. Yeah, I should have planned mine a little bit better, I think. And then these guys move up here. No, they go down. Everything always slides down. Everything. Right. I think we're sliding in different directions. So, like, mm. I'm thinking that's down as we're going. No, don't make it weird. Why would you change the rotation of the world? No, that's not the rotation of the world. The rotation of the world's like this. It's the same thing. Uh, down always goes south. This would be, we're south. We're not north. No, it's always pushed away from you. That's down. No. <laughs> Sweetie. Like Candy Hold Crush. On. Candy Hold Crush on. always falls down towards the bottom of the phone. This Kabuki is the bottom kid. of the phone. Hopefully Kabuki Kid or somebody else is here for a better ruling on this. What do you guys think? Do because you think... it's supposed to... Look, these fell down. They didn't go away from you, did they? That's different. They're going down my gullet into my tummy. So these ones these. here, they're, they're fleeing from me. <laughs> oh, no, they only flee if you eat a captain. Otherwise, they're coming to attack you because you ate their leader. Right, but I'm saying, like... No, they're coming towards you. All right, whatever. Because you ate their... Don't whatever, whatever. because I'm right. You're not right. They're coming towards you, know you because you ate their leader. We'll agree to disagree, okay? Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, I did not know this was going to be where we were going to get stuck. Overall, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. <laughs> All right, so I get to pick again because we do a snake draft. So right. it's like you go one, I go two, three. If we were playing with more players, it would go the next person, then it comes yeah. back the opposite way. So if you're last, you get to get the next first pick. <laughs> No, I have odd gravity. I'm so sorry. No. It's because you're thinking of them running away from you when they're they're coming to attack us. We're just eating them now. Because we go in, we grab the leader, all right. and then they all come after us. All right. I guess Dr. Glory Hog may possibly be minutely right Say it in again. this very tiny occasion. Okay. Say it again. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> if I go that way, it's going to go boop, boop, boop. That works. Whatever. That works. Whatever. You slide down. I'm not going to do your weird And they're gravity. running up to us. They're running up. So I'm going to go helmet, which is good for my goal. And I'm going to get another foot, which is also good for my goal. All right. I think I might end up yeah, eating a wizard. You can go wizard. ahead and go while I do this. Don't eat a wizard. They're gross. They'll give if you a I stomach ache. <laughs> if I eat a wizard. You'll get a stomach ache. <laughs> Battle Cry says, what color is the sky in your world? Yeah. Uh, it's actually kind of like really insanely light blue in Arizona. It's so weird because you have all the dust in the air. So it I makes think they're it saying like you're crazy. A blue brown. I don't think they actually <laughs> wanted to know the actual <laughs> color. They're trying to think of like, are we in Australia? And that's why they, everything rotates everything the wrong rotates, way. Everything rotates. That's true. Everything that's not a real thing, rotates you know? the opposite way on that. Ooh, Dr. Glory Hog is getting these guys with the extra crowns here because he wants the first player token oh. and be able to choose first. Your first mistake is to think that I have a plan. <laughs> I don't have a plan until like the last three rounds where I'm like, oh, I need to get points. All right. We want to know which dog I'm kicking right now. I need I need some hands. First off, I need some hands. That just sounds really weird. Second off, there no, you know. well, I, don't, I didn't say I needed a round of applause. You said you wanted a hand. Oh, gosh, there's so you many choices. There's so many choices. Does this help? This one, this one's gonna get me hurt. If we just keep her distracted enough. These ones are gonna get me hurt. Is this helping? No, Dr. Glory Hog. Get hurt. Those are gonna get me hurt. That has a lot of pieces in it. Get wrecked. I'm gonna have to take another damage pile unless I choose the swordsman, which I really don't want all of his stuff in there. <laughs> you know? Because uh. if I choose anything in these rows, I'm gonna get hurt. And if I choose anything in these rows here, I'm gonna get hurt from here. Take the swordsman. Should I just take the damage? That's going to give me negative points at the end of the round if they're together. If they're adjacent to each other. I'm not down with that. I'm not down with negative points. You're down with the sickness, but not with negative points. No. Check. So I think I'll just take the check swordsman. And check. Which is super unfortunate because I don't want any of those pieces really, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work, guys, okay? So let's get this in here. I need two little feet, two little toes. So our restream thing is just is not updating. Oh, okay. That's our fine. restream isn't updating. We're okay. Okay. I'm saying as far as when it's talking about who's watching and stuff. That's ah. why you're that's why it looks like that. Ah. All right. So you took that swordsman. 
Like a big chicken, maybe? Well, I've got to, I've got to figure out how I'm going to put this in here, too. I guess I can figure out how I put it in while you do your thing. Dr. Well, there's Gordon. nothing for me to do now. That's the end of the round. Oh, my gosh. It's already the end of the round? Yeah. That happened so, so fast. So, endgame gets triggered if you fill up your stomach. If somebody fills up their stomach, that triggers the endgame. The Lazy Susan really messed the world. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't even handle a Lazy Susan right now. If I was spinning this board around, you'd be like, wait, is up goes to the left or to the right? I'd be like, no. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Just Lazy Susan this around. So you're, we flip all the cards on their back? No, I your, don't, your dragon would get like super sick at that point. You would be so sick. Like you don't you don't want that. You don't want that in your life, okay? You don't know. My I was life. hoping to eat like a wizard and it, for it to be helpful, but it is not being helpful at all. So when you eat, did you eat a wizard? Oh no, you did not. No, but I was thinking about it. Oh, well, you keep thinking about it. I'm gonna eat all the wizards. Wow, Doctor Glory Hog. I'm actually not. There's no good wizard for me to eat. So, I guess I want to do this. We're going to put it in here. And hopefully this is going to work out for me some way. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really bad at this game. I've suddenly I've suddenly come to the realization I am not very good at this game. Are you serious? <laughs> this is the thing? All right. So, that is the end of our round. So, what we do now is we look to see who has the most crowns, which I do. So, I would now be the first no, player. No, I need that. So, I would I draft need that. first and second, or first and last. Um, and then that means we pick these tiles. Can you please hand me these tiles so I can't read them? These are our new leaders that we're going to eat. So what we have here is this one, which is probably good for her, which is any damage tiles that are to the left or the or either above or to the sides of this tile is going to give her points, which she's got lots of damage, so we probably need that one. This one, little hand tiles, is scores two points for each hand tile that is adjacent to any leader tile. So if you've got a leader tile and there's a hand adjacent to it, which doesn't really help either one of us right now, but it's just good overall. And then the other one is that weird angle one. I can never memorize all of these because I'm not the smarts. <laughs> Score two points for each hand tile that is diagonal from this leader tile at any distance. So man, all hands, all hands all the time. Do I here want, so can see them. yeah. Do I want to make it, uh, I will just do this one. So that way if I have a leader tile, it will just, and there's a hand next to it, we'll get points. I think I'll drop in like. All right, I will pick this one here. So, because I'm still hoping not to get a whole lot of damage on this. Or you know what? Maybe I will do this because if I get damaged, that's gonna kind of negate it. Who knows? I can't possibly know. For each damage tile that is in the same row or column, I'm gonna do this. Let's do this because you only score damage if. They're on top of each other if they're orthogonal to each other. Yeah, they're touching each other. Yeah. So let's do this. I'm going all in damage. I mean, you know what? I'm going to take a few hits, but it's going to be fine. So Kabuki Kid says, ah, that infamous Lazy Gamer Kickstarter. The one that was the giant Lazy Susan that never got delivered. Not a cheap one either, for real. <laughs> that, would be, that would be the thing. Let's see here. If you were going to make a Lazy Susan for board games, it would have to have like a cutout, like a board cutout in it. Where you could like set boards in there. So if you did spin it, not all of your stuff would like just fly off, you know, immediately. That would be interesting. <laughs> and then you could have like, it could be a gigantic Lazy Susan. It could have cup holders in it too for like an extra scare for you. You could have your cup and then the dangerousness of spinning it with a cup on there. <laughs> Definitely don't want that one. Dr. Glorhog, if you could eat some archers, that would be excellent. I would really enjoy that. Um, I'm trying to actually win the game, so I need you to hush a butt. <laughs> if I did this one. Ah, I wanted that wizard. Okay, I'll leave the it. The Lazy Susan Gaming Table. I'll actually take <laughs> this one. The whole table spins, that's right. We'll make the whole table spin. It'll, it'll be a thing. Like, uh, you know, Rascaler or something can make it. I'm sure it'll be super amazing. <laughs> All right, I took mine. I did take an archer. You did take an archer. Did you get hit? Yes. That's why I have a damage token. How do you feel about that damage? Did it get you right in the eye? No, I feel fine. Did it get you in the butt? It's just a little pokey going down. Just a little tiny it's like poke? Eating, it's like swallowing a whole sunflower seed. You're fine. Oh. <laughs> you won't notice until the next day. Okay, here's another thing, guys. Nope. When you eat sunflower seeds, no. do you chew the shell and then eat it too? 
Or do you like actually break open the shell and eat the sunflower seeds? Everybody breaks open the shell. Inquiring minds want to know, okay? <laughs> Each round, it spins faster and faster until it throws the game all over the room. That's how you know you won. If you throw the game all over the room, if you spit it fast enough. <laughs> okay, let's see here. What do I want? Ooh, I like. I'm liking all those hands. All those hands look real nice over there. Not being weird. But within two spaces, so I'm not happy about that. I do want that as well over there. Mm. Let me trade two two things for it, though. Yeah. Mm. Oh, man, what do we want to do here? Okay, I'm going to take this wizard here. It's only two pieces, but I think these are the exact two pieces I need because it's a hand and armor. it's an armor piece, see? And with this armor and hand piece here, I'm going to place. What are you going to do? It like this here. That's going to go down there. Okay. And then since he's going to rumble up my belly and switch stuff around, I'm going to switch. No, no, wait. I don't want to do it there. That. You won't get points for that hand. You know that, right? Dang it. No! You already took him. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm wrecking my board. I'm wrecking my board. You need to, like, take a breath. <laughs> this is tough. Remember, your wizard's going to let you spin him. Okay. So... He's going to fall down this way, and then I want my wizard to, like, switch stuff out, is what it is. Yeah, why don't you switch the hand and the armor so that the armor, the hand is within scoring points of your tile. I get five points, though, for each square of stuff that I get done, is the thing. Right, but you don't have any squares, like, close to anywhere right now. Oh my gosh, Dr. Glory Hog, why do you got to be like this? Fine, I'm going to put it over here, and we're going to switch these out. That makes more sense. Okay, and then for my other, for my next trick. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm so bad at this, guys. I'm so bad. This should be your Kab game. You're okay. the one who, like, wrecked Candy Crush. So, Kabuki Kid says, I crack the shell and eat the seed inside. Like yeah. normal people do, right, Kabuki Kid? Yeah, that's how everybody like does it. Like normal people. And when you eat your pizza, <laughs> do you do so within the confines of your shower while trying to shower? Or do you just shower wow. and then eat your pizza after? Shots Fired, Dr. Glory Hog. If you were in a rush to get somewhere, would you take a slice of pizza in the shower with you? Would that speed up the process or slow it down? I'm going to eat this other wizard while Dr. Glory Hog just like mm -hmm. what? tells a bunch of lies. Hmm. <laughs> I need an hmm. armor and a hand. You know what? I was in a rush, okay? I was in a rush, guys. Don't judge me. I think I forgot to need a hand. <laughs> I had some place to be and I had to eat and I had to shower, okay? Oh my God, you did that? That's crazy. I think I forgot to actually eat my archer. Oh my gosh, did you not eat your archer? Well, like I ate him, but I didn't like. It's this one right here because it was tan. Yeah, it was this one. I think I threw it over here because these guys are messing me up. Oh yeah, don't do that. You got to keep your card. So I need this to be exactly so. I need an armor piece like over there. So if I throw this in here. I'm working really hard. I'm working really hard on this. Two spaces. So I need it actually like this, around like this, I think. Yes, like this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and eat this wizard here. And then he's also going to give me another rumbly tumbly. Tum rumbly tumbly. Tummy rumble? Whatever. Yeah, you're making it really he's good. making me real sick, guys. But it's worth it. It's worth it. He's so tasty. Mmm. You're making it so weird. <laughs> All right. So we meet this guy. He's going to give me tums. He's like, what's up, bro? I'm like, what's up? And I'm like, don't touch me. COVID. Yeah, what? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, this game ends whenever our boards are filled up. And it does have, for four players, I'm it sorry, fills up our here. Our water filled? Our stomachs. Oh, when our stomachs sorry. When our filled. stomachs, when we are so full that we want to puke, mm -hmm. then we stop. We actually stop because we're too full at that point. Yeah, that's how most people. <laughs> Unless you're our cat, then you throw up and you go back for more. <laughs> you eat until you're like at, sick and then you immediately go back. Puking levels. 
you get a little sick, and then you go back and eat a little bit more. That's how you do it. I'm going to keep <laughs> my ones with crowns up here on my board so they're easy to see. And these ones that don't have crowns, I'm just going to stack them here. No problem. All right, so I still have two crowns. Do you have any crowns? No. Okay, so can you give me the leader tiles? I sure can. Because we're moving on. There you go. All right, so as far as leader tiles go, what we've got here is this one is saying you're going to get plus three points if you go armor, helmet, hand, feet. Oh, that's going to be good for you, right? Well, it's not the way I normally do it because oh. I don't normally need hands. And Never it's, mind. And it's only if it goes across, too, which is different, which I'm like, I'm thinking, do I have any of that right now to start off? And I don't. This one is the one where you get two points for every helmet that's, you know, within uh, two spaces, kind of like the one you've had, which I could just drop either one of these spots right now and just immediately start getting some points. We'll drop there. Maybe that can work out. And this one is hands. And this is hands if it's what? This is score two points for each hand tile that is either the same row or column as this one. So then I could just drop that one here and get double points off these hands already. I'm hands, just going to do that. Hands, 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 hands. Because I'm going to get points for hands that touch a leader tile, two points. So that's going to be two points right there. And then all hands in this row. Also all right, I'm going to take points. this helmet one. We're going to put it right here because it just makes sense. I get points for having helmets there, and I have helmets there. I mean, I guess you can take the easy way out. Sure. <laughs> all right, and I guess I start off the draft. All right, go ahead, Dr. Glory. Because I am King Troll. Well, I mean, it's debatable. You're a troll who ate a king. It's a little different. It's a little different, Dr. Glory Hog. It doesn't really feel like that. I'm just going to take this peasant. I'll take the damage. Um, where do I want to drop this damage? Yeah, because you're taking damage from the archer there. Yeah, but I'll take this peasant because it's just all kinds of hands. Oh, there's another peasant. I know. Like, that peasant was good. I was looking at that peasant, too. He was pretty tasty looking. Well, like, that row gives me, I can just get another four points just by dropping this leader over here. Looks like I look very slappy right here. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Look how good this is. You're getting your slap on? Oh, I get points for both of these again. Oh, no. no you're going to get super crazy points, Dr. Glory Hog. I went from all these little hands to all the hands. No. Shower pieces, yes. So there is a, yeah, I've filled in my pieces before. There is a, uh, a thing I think I saw, and I think it was a joke thing, but it was like something you wear around your neck, and it was a clear triangle shape, and you're supposed to put your pizza in there so you can, like, walk around with your pizza and still have your hands free kind of ridiculous but it is one of the things that might be like convenient also for people who like to eat in the shower what are you trying to say what are you what are you uh trying to say there dr glory Hog? i could see in a bath like if you were in a bath because you're going to be in there a while you can take some food with you people do that they'll drink some wine maybe eat some fancy cheese maybe have a slice of pizza i guess if that's what you're down with a beer helmet whatever a beer oh a beer helmet while taking a, a bath that would be awesome that's what they did in um what was that show i was watching it had Booth and then Bone. Oh, Bones. Bones was the show. Uh, he goes in there one time, like in the really later episode, he goes in there with a beer helmet to get in the bathtub. So that was how they spent their Friday night. Does the peasant taste like pheasant? It should, right? As I mean. I would say it tastes like chicken, but we don't have chickens yet. I, guess, so. <laughs> I feel like it should taste like it. Oh, and then I have to also throw in my damage first. My I stomach is getting out. pretty full. I mean, it's not full, but I mean, I've only got two more spaces here before I just start wasting anything that goes up there. Yeah, but you have to fill all of your stomach, though. I am aware. Thank you very much. Listen, it's not over till it's over. So I ate this peasant here. This pheasant peasant. He's a pheasant peasant. I found what's a good in a, in a place. We need like a good pee, 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 pee thing. Like Sally sells seashells at the seashore. I found a pheasant at the Peasant that tasted like a pheasant. I don't know. I'm sorry. You're just staring at in me all weird. In Pleasantville, maybe. <laughs> a pheasant, pheasant in Pleasantville. A pleasant pheasant. A pleasant peasant in that Pillsbury. tasted like a pheasant. Pleasant peasant that tasted like a pheasant in Pillsbury, hmm. Pennsylvania. Oh. <laughs> five P's, baby. That's a five P. All right, here. Shower pizza. Just some shower pizza. In case you're just tuning in, Glory Hound likes to eat pizza in the shower. <laughs> Don't keep on talking about it. I want to make sure that everybody knows. No. Can't keep on talking about it, Dr. Glory Hog. How dare you try to shame me? And I think I will also take this one as well. Don't forget you're taking damage from that archer. You're not. I just wanted to I was going to say which art. No, I, he has to be two away hey, for that one. I know. I just wanted to see if you would do it. Wow. We're going to take this. This will be good, though, because we're going to put this in our belly like so. 
There we go. So that one's actually... Two peasants, and then this one actually gives me two crowns, so I'm starting to go a little bit of crown. Aw, oh, dang it. What are you I doing, Dr. Glory Hog? that one. I could just drop... Boop, boop. Dr. Glory Hog's trying to start it. All the beginning stuff. Unfair. <laughs> Large pizza extra sud, please. That's right, you know? I mean... Pizza, to be fair, pizza is like the perfect thing to eat it's while not. you're doing things or maybe like a hot dog or something because it is completely portable like a sandwich, okay? Not a messy sandwich, but like peanut butter and jelly sandwich because if you fold a pizza, oh, you God. can eat a pizza with one hand and do tons of other stuff with your other hand, okay? <laughs> God, I'm so sad to know you right now. <laughs> this is so bad. Can we get our new tiles out because we are now on to around... We're eating four. our third. What well, is our third? This leader. is our fourth course. This is our fourth course in the meal. All right, so we got this one here, which is unique. I haven't seen that one yet. So it scores twice the length of the longest diagonal chain of the same type of body part tile. So diagonal chain. My diagonal chains are like two, two. Yeah, I'm not doing that one. This one's gonna be for boots. For little booties. Yeah, if I drop that one like it's hot, I could get double hands right there again. What? And then there's a boot. That'd be a good one to be close enough. I just do that one. Just to get double hands. The boot. Or this one can go for armor pieces, which I'd have one. And I would have two. Now is it two for every? Yeah. Sweet. I'm going to do that one. So it's going to go boop, boop, armor piece. Boop, 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 armor piece. If I have one there. But I'll get one. Wow, neither of these are like really super great for me. Oh no. But that's sad. I mean, the longest diagonal chain. Yeah, I'm going to put it here. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with I'm it. I'm going to grab this archer up here. Take a damage. Stop defending it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's worse, right? Because she keeps talking about it like it's not that big of a deal. Come on. To be fair, I was also much younger whenever I did it, okay? And that doesn't make it better. I had better. some place to go. Oh my God. Come on. I'm sorry, you got brought up. You brought it up. You brought it up. This is sir. embarrassing for me now. You brought it up. <laughs> to be fair, we were already pretty much in a really long term relationship by then, so it was too late to back out. It was out. too late to back out after finding out that I ate pizza in the shower. Your weird pizza perversions. Who does that to now I'm going to be really curious to hear if anybody else has eaten pizza in the shower because... If anybody has, they're probably smart enough not to bring it up now. <laughs> What's next? Cereal? Oh Just a bowl of gosh. cereal? It's very more portable. No, cereal is not portable at all. Cereal is like the worst thing it's you can do. Like, What's the difference between a bowl? Does it take two hands? No cereal. No cereal. Yeah, no it's cereal. embarrassing for everyone involved. <laughs> Our dog ran away shortly after that. I blame the pizza. Oh my gosh. What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten in the shower that is food? I don't want to hear about soap. <laughs> I know some of you weirdos ate soap. I remember eating Play-Doh as a kid. Oh my the, gosh. The Play-Doh at school that was like salty. Ew. That's gross. Well, I didn't eat Elmer's glue or anything. That's gross. Some kids See, ate Elmer's glue. I have never eaten that. So. You've never eaten Play-Doh? No. So what, you're some peller? It's non-toxic. All right, I'm going to take this pheasant here that tastes like pheasant. Make sure you get your little ouch. I'm going to get my ouchie, which I need anyway. Go in Kabuki Kid's next screenplay. A little, <laughs> as they casually take a, take a, uh, their talk to the shower, be like, come on, I have to get ready and give me that slice of pizza. <laughs> <sighs> it works. It works. <laughs> So sad. We're going to put this like this. And this is going to be nice because this is going to help out everything on my board here. Do -do -do. Like oh, that. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Uh, how is your armor in all like backwards and upside down and everything else? Listen, they just get in there and then they roll around as they go down. Okay, that's what happens. That's how that works. <laughs> all my stuff at least is like in the right order. And I think I need, I think I need that wizard maybe. Wizard. Because that'll get me some decent points if I do that. But it'll ruin that for me. So that actually might not be super great. No, I think you should probably do it. Maybe. 
I don't if it's know. gonna ruin something, I think that's the way you should go. You swap any two tiles in your monster stomach. Yeah, yeah. Any two. Any two. So yeah, like you swap these and put those right next to each other so you get food points. And I could swap these and that would be pretty good. Because then I would get points for these and that. Mm, swap which two? Or I could swap these two and that would be good too. What was the first one you were going to swap? Or maybe not. This one and this one? Ah, okay. But maybe not because this one, I have stuff going on here for it. But I could swap these and that would be like Make moving stuff player. down. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe the wizard's worth it. I want like another wizard, but I feel like our tummies are getting pretty full. So like I just need to do it. You should swap these two because then you could make, so you'd have four crowns, which will trigger your legendary dragon and you'll still get points. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is that where you're going with this? Yeah. So I'm going to need a crown and a little booty. I need a little booty. Yeah. Da -da. No, don't make it dirty. Jeez, Dr. Glory this isn't Hog. A pirate game. <laughs> This is not a pirate game. Is that your second draft this round? Um, how? Yes, because I did the captain first, which was, or no, I did the peasant and then I did the wizard. And I gotta figure out where I wanna put this. I'm gonna move that one down, so that's gonna help that. Where do I wanna put this? Do I have anything with little boots on them? I think I'm just gonna put it here. Let me try that out. Or maybe a, yeah, I'm going to put it there. Okay. And then I'm going to move these two here. Come on, little tiles. I'm going to put those boots up there. Just take one from the storage bin. And if I can get like one more of that, that would be good. So that'll be helpful. Okay. Dr. Glory Hog, you are very uniform. You're working very hard to get all your stuff done. Should I not be? Uh, if you could just like eat a little messier and uh, let me win a little bit more, that would be awesome. If you could just go ahead and uh, do that for me, that'd be excellent, all right? <laughs> Boot. So Kabuki and Battle Cry and I believe, what was it, Fatal Paper Cut was on here earlier. You guys, what do you guys think of the game so far? This is a pretty simple game to get into where I feel like you got a lot of really good little choices going on here especially with like the special abilities on what's happening here and then trying to order them up here in your stomach this was on Kickstarter and we had got it for, it was really inexpensive and it funded but it was not like crazy crazy funded or anything so I don't think there's a whole lot of it was like uh, following right winter now. haven funded five mil Frost Haven? Yeah, sure. <laughs> it wasn't Frost Haven. Winter Haven, Frost Haven, <laughs> Snow Haven. They're all havens. That's right. Yeah, it wasn't like that. All right, so if we go to the next round, I have two, four, six, eight, Jeez. nine. All right. Well, here, take your stupid crayons. I'm actually Dr. not Gorgog. even trying to get them. Oh, I'm oh, just, I'm just that I'm good. not even trying to win right now. Mm. Mm. This will give me points mm. for every <laughs> one of those in there. That's actually good. I'm just going to get that one. I don't even care about the other ones. And there's a lot of replayability, too, on this because the way that all of these come out always changes. Mm -hmm. And the different things that you're putting in your stomach and stuff, there's just a lot of variance, I think, in this game. Ooh. And Fatal Paper Cut is getting Isle of Cats today. <gasps> Tell us how you like it. We liked that game so much it's so good yeah i really like are you like getting that. the kickstarter version of it or did you get the other version i mean either way i think they both did have you get cat the meeples. peasants version or the royal oh version? my gosh <laughs> they both have cat meeples in them but i think the big kickstarter one has the big cat meeples in it okay nice. i gotta choose yeah so either armors that are in the same row either vertically or horizontally or that other one that does something. That other one says score points equal to twice the amount of body part tiles that are found in most of the eight spaces surrounding this leader tile. So, so they just have to be surrounded? Yeah. It's like, for example, if you drop to here, you'd have hands. So you'd get hands for twice as many for each hand that you have there, I guess. I was, as long as I put hands there, I continue to put hands there. Around it, yeah. Yeah. Or armor. I don't know. Is that how you want to live your life? I don't know. I don't really know how I want to live my life right now. 
I mean, you know, what? I'm going to do it. And we'll put it here near the ham. So I feel like that's a pretty fair bet. Thanks, Renee. And then that's all of those tokens that we're going to receive yeah, this game. No more leader tokens. Yeah, we're still going to try to fill our bellies, though. Go ahead and go first. Oh, I will fill my belly. So I think the Kickstarter version has the wooden fish bits, too. Oh, yeah, that's right, Kabuki. I think that it does have the little wooden fish bits, too, which are just adorable. Oh, my gosh. When I had saw the that they were adding the wooden fish bits, like, I was so excited. <laughs> they fit in just perfectly. They're she so lost cute. her mind. When I she did. I that. did. I lost my mind. She totally. cried. She called her mother. <laughs> it was intense. And it was on sale. What? It was on sale. Well, that's awesome. I'm like, take, so awesome. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take a damage. Figure okay. Out. I think my damage can just go over here because I don't really care. But this one is good because it lets me do a boot. So I can go boop, 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 like so. Gives me another one of those. And then another armor. Drops right there, which is perfect. I want that badly, badly, madly. But oh, peasant! There's a peasant if you would like one. I only have one, two, three, four, five, six spaces left in my stomach. As an FYI. Oh my goodness. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen spaces. This. Seems like you're missing a lot of spaces. Well, you know what? I am a little bit of a picky eater, okay? I don't eat just anything that's out here, okay? I have a very now, when you're when you're in the shower, do you feel taste. like you eat more risky things <laughs> or is it less? It's a very attuned sense of taste, Dr. Glory Hog, okay? Oh, wow. He's gotten in Vindication, Aristila, Robinson Crusoe, Nemo's War. Oh, man. Too many bones. Such good stuff Ooh. right now. I really, we have Robinson Crusoe, and even the expansion to it. I picked it up when it was like on a sale when a game store was closing. I heard that's a really good one. The Vindication is supposed to be really good. I haven't played that one. Nemo's War, we saw that one at DGG. Uh, the creator was there, and he kind of showed us a quick overview of that one. That one looked really good, too. Right. Some really good game choices. So. Sounds like you're doing well for yourself. There's like some issues with the stuff here. That it's pretty much going to get hurt, hurt. Or yeah, hurt, hurt, or like hurt, anything I choose on here is going to hurt, hurt me, period. Or hurt. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, but I really got a plan for how I want my stuff here to score. Because we're getting really close to endgame here. Are we? Yes. And I do need stuff that is adjacent. Is that the royal we? What are you trying to say, Dr. Glory? I feel like I'm getting close to endgame. <gasps> <gasps> what are you trying to say, Dr. Glory bum, Hog? Bum, bum. Wow. I'm going to get the other. Oh, no, the sword king's on the back so of that rude. one. So rude. So there's also, so there's four different boards like this, and they're double-sided with different rules. So every single one of them has their own kind of goals they're going for. I wish they had, like, cool little names. Like, the troll had, like, a special name for eating things like this. I guess that would have probably been pretty hard to do. I think I need this one. Ah, take a damage. So the damage is good, because I'm still putting it in that damage, damage column. Ah. Oh, nice. What's saw the uh, Kabuki saying they saw Nemo's War creator uh, in a stream chat. Yesterday. Oh, really? That's awesome. Yeah, we had talked to him at BGG. That was really fun. Ian O'Toole. Ian O'Toole does some drawing. Ah. You need to focus. You can't. <laughs> You're having a hard time. I can't look at chat while also go no. ahead and, and doing these things. No. Jeez. Only if the food is soapy. Oh, wow, Robinson Crusoe and Nemo's War both got perfect tens from Kabuki. Oh, really? Yeah, we need to play Robinson Crusoe. The last big co-op we broke out, besides Reich Busters, uh, which we did on a stream, has been, I think, we did Spirit Island, which we really enjoyed. We ended up getting oh, yeah, Spirit Island that. was really good. He enjoyed the, the fun of that one. Robinson right. Crusoe is just one of those ones we just haven't gotten to. We have seven continents to get to, too. Now I need to pick one more. The Sorry. good thing is we haven't really bought, we've backed some games. We haven't really gone to a game store and bought any games recently because of all this, obviously. And that's actually probably going to be good because hopefully we'll get to some of these ones we have. Oh, absolutely. Because sometimes you get a little bit of like a backlog. But you know? I also started playing Animal Crossing, so who knows mm. what's going to happen. <laughs> and we got into a Blood Bowl League. That too. Yeah, we got into a Blood Bowl League, which I'm excited about. Yeah, Spirit Island is real good. 
We were you like this expansion. We got it has a box insert for it. This archer was here before, right? Um, so I should have taken two damage because I should have taken one from the archer here. And but then where one did you from take your thing from? From right here. If you took it, oh, so I yeah. should have taken two damage on that there. That was my bad. We'll put it way over there. Well, you're just trying to fill up your stomach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the damage aren't going to do in like a ton of Suspicious. stuff for me right now. <laughs> Suspicious. All right, so my turn. No, I need to pick one more person. Oh, you're doing your second one. Yeah, I need to pick one more person. It's just like anywhere I'm going to pick, I'm going to get damage. Period. That's what I like to see. So I think I'm going to choose this. Yeah, Claire. Animal Crossing is real. Uh, I started playing it on my kids' Switch, and then I was like, yeah, I better get my own account and everything. Well, honey, the cleric will also give me two damage. Well, I don't want the cleric either. Oh, my God. Animal Crossing is like, it reminds me of when I used to play, like, Farmville when that first came out, like, on Facebook and stuff. Except it's not as hectic. Farmville was always like, you got 15 minutes to collect this crap or it wilts. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, I can't be on it that much. That's true. I mean, oh, man. But it is kind of fun because we're playing it and then, like, my kid's playing it. So it's, like, three of us plus her mother-in-law is playing it. And then, of course, people in the board game community that are playing kind of fun to run across each other. I'm just really behind because I had to like restart three times. Can't make an account on other people's switches. All right. That was the problem. This is the one damage. This is the one damage. You're going to fill up on damage. Maybe. Nom, 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 nom. You know what? I like spicy food, okay? And I feel like these are just a little spicy is what it is. Just like got a little bit of spice. A little bit of spice. Okay? Spice is life. Well, that's true. Spice is life. <laughs> I think I'm just going to put them here because I don't know if putting them anywhere else is going to make a whole lot of sense squeeze. at this point. Squeeze. Sometimes I just squeeze the dog really hard. Squeeze. If you're not squeezing your dog just a little too tight to give them love, where they grunt just a little bit, He's like, you're uh, doing it wrong. Uh, they have to give you like a tiny grunt and then you're like, okay, that's been good. That's good. He's like, <laughs> yes. They're loved. Now they know they're loved. Okay. He's like, Ugh. <laughs> He's like shh, 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 take this love. And then we're going to put all this in here. Like so. Which is all now. Like so. Da, da, da. All right. Go ahead, Dr. Glory Hog. I really don't want any of these. Hmm. I mean, a cleric could really. I think my original it. plan of like finding the one other thing that I needed is not is not going too well. So it is spice plus two expansion, invader from afar. And wind gamut, modular board, and metal coins worth it for 140. I'm gonna yeah, say yeah, absolutely, probably. because the the spice coins alone, I mean, they're 30 bucks. Yeah, you're gonna be paying for a basic set of them. Depends on what set, because there's promo sets of coins too. Absolutely. And then the faders from afar is probably like 30 bucks at least. I want to say wind gamut is probably like more like 40. And wind gamut, and the modular get, board is nice too. You get the huge like. Ships and Airships. stuff mm -hmm. on there and everything. Those I've are only, like plastic pieces. Yeah, I've only played that with that twice, I think. And I don't I don't feel like I need wind gambit. Like I've never been really? like, oh man, I need wind gambit. But the modular board where you get to change pieces out, I told you about that recently. Yeah. And then I like invaders from afar because it just gives you two more classes to play as. Yeah. They're both unique. The cool thing about the wind gambit one though is that you can traffic like your people. You can get your little people on there and take them places with that, right? Yeah. I believe you do. Yeah. Yeah, you can move like your mechs and stuff, I think. That's right. So like, yeah, absolutely. For 140, I think that's totally worth it with the, and the modular board and stuff is so nice to be able to set up. I mean, I prefer the board being mod modular because it is such a big board and getting it out and being able to store it and stuff like that. Like I just liked it better. And is the Fenris? Yes. Fenris, real good. oh my god, that's my favorite expansion for that game. Because it's semi-legacy-ish, where you can play a full campaign of it through several different games. And you're going to like get income, and then you can use that income to purchase things for the next game and stuff. You're going to start getting bonuses as you go along. But you don't like tear anything up or get rid of anything, so it's something that you can play on this campaign but like several times, you know, with different people and stuff because you have like little score tracking sheets and stuff like that that you just track your stuff on. There's a few surprises the first time you go through, which is so much fun. And then when you play with other players, you can always like rewrap those surprises up and stuff for them. So this is it. This is the last round. 
Oh, yeah, because you only have two spaces to fill. Okay. So whenever you choose something mm -hmm. to fill your spaces, how much time do I have left to fill? This draft. So you'll have two more drafts you can do. So like I'll draft I'll my pick two yep, more cards. I'll eat my person and then you can eat a person, eat a person. And then if I had space, I'd eat a person again. But I okay, don't have cool. space. All right, Dr. Glory Hall, go ahead. I'm trying to think of what I can do that will give me points though. Right? Points are a good thing. Absolutely. Yeah, Fenris was real good. I I really like Scythe. Like it is one of my favorite games to play. And the Fenris expansion to it is it gives you that campaign feel. Like you're playing almost like that video game ish style thing where you can go through and like start implementing stuff in in your reserves and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You can change your game a little bit as you go, but it's not so crazy that you can't restart or you can't go ahead and play with somebody else. Like you can always play that game with somebody somebody else. Like they did an excellent job of making that expansion. Hello Vincent, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're well, I, I'm assuming it's still Sunday for you where you're at. Sunday late at night maybe or maybe early in the morning. I hope you're doing good. Staying safe. <laughs> There's almost like nothing I can take that makes a difference, I think. Points wise for you? Yeah, I don't think I can score points off any of these. I mean, I can slow it down, but that's not going to really do anything. Right. That would have been a foot that would have done something. I can just do this and just not take damage, I guess. Okay. Um, so I won't actually end it. I mean, I will after this, of course, but. I'm looking for and this would go a away because it can't go anywhere. Villager with a very particular set of skills right now. <laughs> That's right, Vincent. Better late than never. Absolutely. This is Tasty Humans by Pangea, and I'm actually I'm really pleased with this game. We the first time I played it, I was like, eh, okay, but we played with like the base rules. But now that we've played with all of the extra abilities that everybody has, like the wizard. I'm, yeah, I'm really enjoying that because it does change it up just enough. It's funny because you've drafted a bunch of those greens and I haven't. I haven't gotten a single one. All mine have been archers, swordsmen, and peasants. I oh. don't have time for wizards and You don't have time for wizards? For wizards? Um, I think. Oh, nice. Vince is on last day of self-isolation. Nice. Oh, that's really good. That'll be awesome. Our It'll state be... just got locked down at the beginning of the month. So yeah. They're not going to open up non-essential stuff for the rest we're of the month. We're going to be here a while. Gonna be here animal crossing. <laughs> if I can't go outside, then my animals can go outside. You're so into the animal crossing. Animal crossing is so strong right now. Act like you're not. Tell me you're not. Let's go to your island and see how into it you are. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Island's got roads. It's got aqueducts done. Sewers are being placed. Listen, I have an excellent looking island, okay? My island is... What are you doing right now? I oh, chose the captain. captain. I chose I'm the so captain. Sorry. So they're running. They're running away. They're I was fleeing. Very confused. There's fleeing happening. I need two armors and a helmet. I hope to stream my island because I feel like it's looking pretty nice now. I probably actually am only going to take these two because I'm just going to put it in this way. Doot. Doot doot. Take that. Okay. And then I think I should just go for the peasant and get the points on that the extra five points for the armor having four in a row or four in a square probably i think that's what i'm gonna do so it's just gonna end whatever i take and it really doesn't matter what i take as long as i don't take damage i guess get in there you all right and i kind of like to take a cleric and like deal a damage so excited and just keep it going for one score. more round now we're gonna score but I don't think I'm going to do that, actually, because I don't want to keep you're gonna going to totally, You're going to totally get full. Like, this is my little space right here for ice cream right here, where I eat all the dairy cows, that the ice cream cows. Okay? Wow. <laughs> you're going to eat the cows now? Oh, because I get it. You have to get you them cold, though. You shake the cow up, you, and then you eat no, no, it. No, no, To get the ice cream, you have to get the cow, and you have to take them up to a really, really high peak. You let them get cold, and then you eat them. Okay, like that's how it happens. All right, so I filled my stomach, which means we'd finish out the draft, but that was the end of the draft. So I get this as bonus points. Doo -doo. It is time to score. So if you want to flip over the leader tile board, we'll do each one because they say that's how you recommend it to do it. 
let's start taking a look at your leader tile. So this one said you're going to get points if it's within two, right? So this way. I don't have any hands. Way, oh, no, I do. I have one. You're going to get two points. Two points. So that one, I'm just going to. You can take it out for now. We'll just flip it so that we know that there was a leader there, but not in case you have one to okay, say, like, call. if it's next to a leader. Uh, let's do this one is an easy one. So it's three for every one in the row. So three, six, nine, twelve, and then none that way. So 14. Mm -hmm. This one is going to be helmets within two. So you've got two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten. So another ten. So 24. Uh, what does that weird one do? Oh, that one is the weird adjacent one. So you have to like make a little Score diagonal twice line. twice the length of that. Same type of body part. Okay. So, so what do you have? You've got one, two, three, four. Yeah, four that way. Yeah, that would be the one I would want to do. So four. So eight. Eight points off. Eight that on one. that one. That's good. Eight and ten are twelve. So thirty-six. And then this one was whatever you have the most around you, which is going to be hands, because you have three mm -hmm. of hands. So that's three, and it is score points equal to twice the amount of the body part tile that's found. So, so six. Six points, yep. Okay. So 12, or one, two, three, four, five, six, just to make sure. Okay. Yeah, just six. And then there we go. five points. So for each two by two square on the same body part. So you've got five, 10, 15? Yes. That looks good. That's all your leader tiles. So one, two, three, four, five. Coming up there. Wait, what? You did five? Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. And then ten for fifteen. Yeah. Yeah, I sorry, I got confused. I was like not counting it the same way you were. All right, so that's the points you get for that. For me, you get I think I get two points for that helmet. Where's your little troll at here? Where's my troll? So we've got a grand score of 57 for you. And then for me. Uh, one week till a review. I'm guessing it's going to be extended. That would be terrible. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be a battle. And it's going to be long and stuff. It's not going to be super great. I know they went ahead and let everybody go and start doing stuff. What was it, in China or something you had said? And then there was like an uprising in the virus again. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Because I yeah, mean, it wasn't. I don't spread. think it was necessarily China. It was a different country. I was think it, it was like um, like Korea or something. Yeah, I forget which country it was. It was a country over an eastern country. And then what they ended up doing is they were like, okay, everybody can go out. And then it like everybody started getting it again. Well, we just hope that everybody stays safe. Okay. So two points for this, hands. please. Uh, let's start with Eat this pizza one. in the shower. So this is going to be, you're going to get points for diagonal, or for anything, for however many spaces away. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten points for this one. Yikes. That's a good start, Dr. Glorhog. This one is going to give you two points for each hand in this row. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Oh man, guys, I'm going to get wrecked. This one is two points for each armor in this row, or is it, I believe it's two if you have a diagonal, uh, for each. So I've got one there, so that's two, four, six, eight, eight points for that one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one is for every armor piece that's next to a leader tile, so it's two, four, for this leader tile, nothing off of that leader tile. Um, let's see, nothing off that one. So I said four so far. Mm -hmm. Eight, four, six, eight, eight. Is that correct? So I'm going to count them again to make sure. So I've got two, four, six, eight off of those two leader tiles yeah. that are flipped up still. And then I don't have any around that one or any around that one. So yeah, eight, eight. points. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're getting close. And then this one's the same thing for hands that are near a leader tile. So I'll go down here first. That's two. And go by this leader tile. Four, six. This leader tile is eight, ten, twelve. And this leader tile is fourteen, fourteen. Ah, oh, one, two, three, four. 
14. And then this is my last scoring thing is for the troll. So it has to go helmet, armor, boots. So I've got one here. So that's four points. I've got one here. So that's eight points. That's it, eight points. Oh. So. Oh that. my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Such a close game. From Such a close game. 64 to 57. And that is the rest of the story. Now, it, if I had gotten any of my damage that were next to each other, yes. like that, I would have taken negative points of damage. But I was able to make sure and try to keep them broken up and everything. So I didn't take any damage on those. And same with you. Yeah, because this is adjacent no... just left, right, up, down, correct? It's not diagonal. Orthogonally, yeah, I think adjacent is up, is up, down, left, right. You can double check, but I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's going to matter either. It would be like one, yeah, one negative like for point. you, and you're fine. But yeah, that that was a pretty close game, and I had a couple of places where I was really waiting for a wizard to try and get that other four combo here, you know. But it just wasn't going to happen. Just didn't happen. Dang it. So it's so crazy. So, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Kabuki Kid. Oh, think we're good. All right, guys. So Shrek is the ultimate winner of eating wow. people. Wow. Shrek wins. <laughs> Piff, it was a picky eater, guys, and I feel like Piff's in the long the magic run, legendary dragon. In the long run, Piff is going to benefit with great health is what it is. Piff is going to be very healthy. Whereas Shrek, let's just be honest. He, Here's he the ate all the junk food. Here's the all the dragons that opposed me. He, those are not dragon skulls. Those they are could not be. No, no. Hey, <laughs> Shrek doesn't care. All right? Shrek won. Shrek is happy for himself. Let us know in the comments what you guys thought of this game and if you liked it or not. What else we got going on? Tomorrow we have Gloomy Graves. Gloomy Graves we're going to be playing. From Renegade Games. I know. I'm super excited about Renegade it. Renegade Games. Studio. And you know what? The peasant did taste like pheasant in the end. I'm pretty certain. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I ate way more hands than I meant to, so I don't know how long I'm gonna stay healthy. <laughs> I, was I told anti you hands. I was very picky with my Well, eating. with the troll, he doesn't want to eat hands because he kinda wants it to go boot, armor, mm -hmm. helmet. But I only got two points off that or two off that this time. Last time we did it, I think I had like five rows of that that were all like that. We saw the legendary dragon, but Let's take a quick look at the other characters. I'm going to take it back down to the table really sure. quick before we go. So the other you guys two boards can see are, the other... are in the other room. Oh, are they really? Yeah. Okay. So but I can tell you what they all are. There's advanced rules on some of these. Like the other side of mine here is the werewolf. And it looks like he has a night and day option here, mm -hmm. which is kind of interesting. And that would be the other character. So all the boards are double-sided on this. Yeah, there's Gloomy also... Graves is so good, guys. There's also a twin-headed dragon, a griffin. The werewolf, of course. There's a giant slime and the snake and a massive spider. The art's really cute. With the this. snake and the massive spider saying they have the highest complexity. So they do vary on complexity. And I think that if you were teaching somebody the game that's oh. newer. Yeah, because the snake, you want to go like this. You have to, it's like the longest oh, chain. Oh, that's you, so cool. You, gotta, you get points based off of doing it like that. Oh, that's so neat. How cool is that? Yeah, like the werewolf has a night and day. So he does different things in different phases. Yeah, and you could always play on a harder board if you've played a couple of times and then have newer players play on some of the easier boards. I think the harder boards are like higher scoring. It's, that's right. It's a snake. It's a snake. It's a snake. It's a danger hose. <laughs> danger hose. What exactly is on danger the t-shirt? Okay, I'll show you guys here. Hold on here. Let me switch Which it up. t-shirt? Yours? Yeah, oh, so that's your... that is Cloud and okay. Starry Night. I, was, I thought it was. She also has a Doctor Who one like that, don't you? Which was the I do. Go. I also have a Doctor Who one like that too. So that was Final Fantasy VII, like the no, one. Is cube. There's a slime. The one that's done. There's a slime. I don't There's have. There's a slime. Yeah. Other one. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Let's see here. What else we got going on? So we got gloomy graves, and then we'll have stuff posted for next week too. Of yeah. Course. And we've been basically playing play along, roll and write. Oh, we've got roll and write. That's the roll right. And write that's right. Thursday. That's the other thing I want so to talk if about. So back to that Kickstarter. Also, you can jump on and play with us. What? Do we know what roll and write we're playing this next week? It's roll and write. Oh, the roll and write, roll and write. Yeah. It's R O L A N D W R I G H T. It's roll and write by Perplex Games. That's right. Perplex that one's going to be a really interesting one. And those ones you can play along as long as you have some sort of like 
either you have the game itself or you have like an erasable sort of marker or something like that that you can play with because it's just going to be dots on a board you and they're going to do different stuff. things. Yeah. <laughs> D&D hex board. That's the one to play with. Oh, thank you so much, Vincent. Let's see here. My friend has a Batman one that is a mashup with the Starry Night. Oh, I would love to see that. That would be really cool. I'm a huge fan of that Starry Night artwork. I was going to say, because typically really like you don't that. like mashup of things where they mix things together or crossovers. I usually don't, but, but I anything just... anything Starry Night, you're like all in on. I know. If I love nerd Starry related, Night so much. <laughs> you had Geek and Starry Night and you're there. It's a really cool looking painting. It's very cool. The funny thing about this game, though, you know that game is based off of a Western. Oh, my God. We're not getting started on this again. All right, guys. We will see you guys later. Thanks Everything so much. Everything is based off of a Western. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We really appreciate all the comments and everything. You and literally married a gunslinger. You're living in a Western. We will talk to you guys later. Bye.